Hello traders, Jason here with SwingHigh.com. It is Friday, May 10th, 2011, and this is going to be a general review of my trading this week. Um, this was my worst week by far. Um, basically, I consistently lost money all week, and uh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, no, I couldn't have taken the other side of any of my trades because that would have just been ridiculous. Um, most of the the directional predictions I made were right, just my executions were terrible, which caused me to lose money in the long run. Um, some of my positions worked a little bit, and I made some profits, but my, my losses outweighed my profits by far. Um, CLF, yesterday I was trying to make a uh, short swing trade, or a short day trade turn into a swing trade, and uh, I was aggressively shorting under the 85 level um, and then it popped against me I shorted some more here and then it broke out here um, this retest would have been a great great chance for me to get out um, but it I, I don't know what it was I was either just too slow stubborn or what I just didn't see what I needed to do and instead got stopped out near the highs for close to a $500 loss on that so normally my risk I want to risk about a hundred maybe a hundred dollars fifty to a hundred dollars on each individual trade because I can afford to do that and if my winners are you know a few hundred dollars at a time or more uh, it should work out in the long run um, but this week was just terrible in that I, I kept giving way more than my maximum loss into some of these trades um, and that tells me that I need to do a few things. First of all, I'm over trading, which is why I'm in a lot of the positions I'm in, um, usually at places that I shouldn't be trading at all. Um, so for one, I'm over trading, trading too many names and taking not enough discretion in my, uh, selection of trades. Uh, the second thing is I'm not defining my risk well enough ahead of time, um, I'm getting a little too anxious, I think, into some of these trades. You know, the feeling of if you don't act now, you're going to miss it. And uh, and then really it's just a fake out or it's just going to reverse and come back to the level that you were watching anyway. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've seen that happen to me this week. Uh, that was just one of the trades that I messed up this week. Here's the one that I lost over $1,000 in today alone. And... One of the most depressing things is right now I'd be on profits if I held and didn't cover at all. But this stock, I'll show you the level two here that I was looking at. This was the most thinly traded stock I've probably ever traded. As you can see, the spread right here is a good 10 cents. And uh, the average true range on the five minute is 50 cents, which is ridiculous. Um, I should have seen that ahead of time and I should have traded accordingly. My maximum position should have been maybe 200 shares at the most. Um, but instead, I got up to close to 700 at one time and then close to 500 another time. And both times, it popped against me and I had to cover for huge losses. Um, yeah, so I had a clearly defined trend and I was trying to trade it way prematurely. I was shorting down here. Um trying to, you know, catch a move through this level, which I never even got a real test of it. Um, instead, I should have been waiting for this line, trying to short in there, cover it on that break, maybe waited for this line and tried to uh, short again in there um, and cover it on that break. But if I did only like one or 200 shares per, per trade and waited patiently, um, I'd be sitting on a much more manageable loss than what I did lose. Um, so that's just a taste of what I'm going to be doing a lot of this weekend, going over individual trades, seeing what I did wrong. Um, and most of the time I shouldn't have even been in the trade and I can answer that now. Like most of the time that's what I was doing wrong um, and simply over trading and uh, not being decisive. Not, not decisive. I was overly decisive. I wasn't uh, selective enough. Um, so yeah, I'll probably post again later this weekend after I do some, some analysis of my trading. Thanks for being a part of SwingHigh.com, and I'll talk to you later.